Today what we're going to look at is using the text tool and also the swatches panel. The text tool is on our toolbox, it's the fourth tool down. And you can just click and drag to create a text box. And that's about it. Now if we want to change the style of it, we can select it. In our options panel, we have different font styles and choices. In the top left, we have our styles. To the right of that, we have our font size. And in the lower corner, we have different weighted options. We can make it italics, bold, to the right, we have some, some other options here. We can make it all caps, small caps, underline. I'm just showing you some of the common options. You can experiment with some of these other ones. We, to the far right, we have alignment. So center, right, left. Now to change the font color, I'm going to switch to my selection tool and make sure that the text box is selected. You'll know that it's selected if you see these, these anchor points on the text box. And I'm going to find my swatches panel. If you can't find a panel, go up to the Windows menu and it's in alphabetical order. So you can find swatches panel and select it. There's a couple things that we need to know about the swatches panel before you start changing colors. We have a couple different buttons on here. The T, if the T is pushed down, that means we're going to control the color of the text. If the box is pushed down, that means you're going to change the color of the object, which in this case is the text box. We have two other boxes over here. The top one controls the color of the fill or the interior color. The bottom one, if that's selected, controls the, the stroke or the outline. So let's go ahead and practice. Select the T. We want to change the color of the text. And we want to first change the interior color, which by default is black. Scroll down and select a color. Now I want to change the border of it, or the stroke. So I select this box so that way it's on top. Scroll down and select another color. You can change the width of the, of the stroke in our options panel. You have a drop down box. And you can do that. Now if we want to change the fill of the text box, we go over to our swatches panel and this time we're going to switch to the little box. We're going to press that down. And then I want to control the fill, so I want to make sure that box is on top. And select your color. And again, to change the, the stroke, and there's your text box. To preview this as it would print, just hit the letter W on your keyboard.